Hi, welcome to Sonic Peak Studio. My name is Jakob, and in today's Behind the Mix series, we'll be looking at Alex Ball's song called Foreplay, which features the fabulous Cork Monopoly. And I've chosen this because it shows the importance of a short reverb and a dash of long reverb, and also it's a personal favorite of ours. So, uh, without uh, further ado, let's go. Here we have the effects. Listen what happens if I mute the short reverb. Off. On. So this is really important for this song. It gives it a complete room that the whole mix can live in. And there are some then there are some swells that comes in and then they are then packed into the long reverb. Uh, we can hear those as well. Let's go. There it is again, right? So, that's a way to build a nice atmosphere with a short reverb. Now, it's a Valhalla Vintage uh, verb uh, that we have here. Early, late, completely turned up, a low cut here, and also a high cut, so it's not too bright. Because if it gets too bright, we don't want that. That's not cool. So this is much better, right? Good. And if you have a look at the long reverb, that's another Valhalla. Well, well, sorry, Valhalla vintage verb here. And this has also been tuned to to um, make a nice concert uh, with all the different elements in it, and also work on the vocals uh, in the end. Uh, let's have a look. really nice and here uh, if you've seen any of the previous videos in my series I'm almost using the same technique again with uh, serial compression with a very low a ratio on the first one a two to one ish on the second one but both of them compressing about 60 B's uh, let's <laughs> And then just uh, a small amount of attack to, to, to get some of the transients through, which I will then later control uh, with the limiter. Um, and then I use vi Waves Vitamin in the end to really boost the high end. Also to give it some body. And when we combine it all here in the ending, it's just great. The way that it just uh, rings in the reverb. There we go. That's a bit about uh, how this project was built. If you uh, want to see about my equalization techniques and how I use par parallel compression and, and how to get this nice uh, sound going, check out some of the earlier videos in this series, especially the first one I could really go into details uh, about. Thanks for now. <laughs>